In the course of uh, shooting videos um, for YouTube and for educational purposes on my Udemy channel, um, obviously I need to record sound. Um, I have a couple of options for that. The microphone I'm using on this camera up here is the Rode VideoMic Mini. Um, it's just attached directly to the camera via a 3.5 millimeter plug-in. When I'm out and about, I tend to use the wireless Go 2 system from Rode. Um, that obviously is a wireless system. It's got a great range and uh, each of the microphones, as well as talking to the receiver, can record voice itself directly to the unit, which has turned out really handy on my trip to uh, the Ukrainian border to get our cat. If you've watched that, you'll remember that my microphone adapter for this camera failed. So I had to record directly to the road units and continue to record that way and sync them up on my Mac uh, each day, which was a pain to be quite honest. Anyway, Hohem, um, a manufacturer of photographic and video equipment, reached out to me and asked me if I would be prepared to do a review on their Mic Zero One uh, for light stalking. And I said, yes, you know, obviously. I don't get paid to do the review. They provide this free of charge. And also they have no editorial control of what I say in this video or on the light stalking article. So what you get is my opinion on this product. So let's have a little look at what it is. It's a um, dual microphone Lavalier style microphone, wireless, um, that's designed primarily for smartphones. Um, this is the iOS version. It features a lightning adapter that will plug into the bottom of the phone. Uh, you can also get a USB-C version um, for smartphones such as Samsung and uh, other brands that use USB-C connectors. I believe the USB-C version can be plugged into a bigger camera such as my Fuji that I'm filming on up here. Um, however, it needs to be powered. So you need to plug a power brick into the USB USB-C as well as plugging that into the camera. So it is primarily designed as a uh, microphone for uh, vloggers, social media users that shoot their content via smartphones. And uh, that's how we'll look at it for today. Anyway, let's open it up and have a little look at what's inside. Let's say I have looked at this before and uh, I've had a little run through so I understand what it's all about. Uh, on the top here, you get um, the instructions. Uh, pretty good. Um, you've got a QR code here which allows you to download a tutorial um, uh, or watch a tutorial on YouTube, which I have done. Um, very clear and concise uh, tutorial that explains how this microphone system works. Um, quite impressive actually, very well done. Um, so that's that. And inside here we've got the actual microphones themselves. Now, unlike the wireless uh, Go 2 system from Rode, this is actually charged up in its own case. So much like my AirPods here, um, I can actually charge this whilst it's actually in the case. There's actually a USB socket here, USB-C socket. You can charge the case and the microphones up whilst uh, in the case. But alternatively, if you're out in the field and you've lost power to one or the other microphone, you can pop it in here and it will recharge from this unit. Um, you get two microphones. They're quite uh, nicely designed. Uh, you've got a clip so you can clip them to your clothes like this. But also, which I think is quite nice, you've got a little magnet here as well. And you can take that off and put that behind like that and attach it that way, which I think is uh, quite a nice little bit of design, nice little added feature. Um, it also features behind this little sticker here is a USB-C uh, socket. That's for charging the units individually, which would obviously be quicker than charging it through this case. Um, I would imagine also that it allows you to do firmware updates if uh, such thing exists. There's two of these. Um, you've got your on off button here and uh, this is your pairing control here. So this is the uh, receiver unit. Um, as I said, there's a USB-C version and a Lightning version, the Lightning version being for your iPhones. Um, I think the iPhone 15 now uses USB-C, so you would obviously need the USB-C version for that, but uh, check on their website for that de in detail. That simply plugs into the bottom there. The, the iPhone automatically realizes that there is a receiver attached and will switch to the microphone to this uh, Bluetooth system. If we take one of the microphones out and if I give it a little press here and you'll see the blue light comes on the top here and we're just waiting. Yep, the, the blue light here is on, if you can see that, and the blue light here is on. That now means that these two uh, microphones are 
actually linked together. Uh, so recording is as simple as opening your app. Uh, you can use, uh, for example, the voice recorder if you just wanted to record voice. And uh, let's do that. So we'll give it a little test. If I put this close to where I should be, like that, that's it. And I press the record button. So you're now listening directly to the Hohem microphone attached to my, my uh, iPhone. You can see on the screen here that uh, I'm getting the sound waves uh, showing that I am actually recording directly to it. If I stop that, we'll switch back to the uh, Rode video mic for a sound comparison. So we're now back on the Rode video mic and you can tell the difference. Uh, obviously I can't at the moment, but I will be able to when I get in the editing suite. I won't do any editing to the sound on in the editing suite. So what you hear from the Rode video mic and what you hear from this mic will be exactly the same. This of course also works with your camera. So if I go to the camera app and open that up, I will put it in video mode. And if I go to selfie mode like this, I can record myself. So I'm now recording myself directly uh, in portrait format, um, but the sound is being recorded directly to the uh, microphone, the wireless microphone, rather than directly to the phone itself. Um, so again, you can just uh, see how good the quality is. Um, I will obviously make a little judgment on that once I've got it into the editing suite and actually used it out in the field in practice as well. I've got some YouTube videos that I plan to do um, that I will use this recording to the uh, voice recording app on the phone just to see how this works in the field. As well as this case here, we also get a little couple of accessories in this uh, side part here. Let me get those out. Uh, you've got a USB-C to USB-A style uh, adapter. And I'm sure we've all got these anyway, but uh, this is for charging directly and I imagine any firmware updates. And you also have two uh, Dead Cat uh, style wind uh, mufflers. So uh, let's bring that back here. These are quite like actually. The Rode ones tend to fall off um, because they, they kind of clip onto the microphone like that, like, like in a bayonet. But these ones actually have a sort of a rubber mount that actually slips over the top, and I which I think probably makes it a little bit more usable uh, and a little bit safer uh, than the Rode Go series that uses this bayonet mount. Uh, the number of times I've had that drop off, fortunately I haven't lost one yet, but uh, I'm sure I will in the future. So, uh, carrying case is very smart. It feels very solid, good quality plastics. You've got some LED lights along here. Um, I can't remember exactly, but um, if the left one is uh, on, not flashing, that means your microphone on the left side is fully charged. Uh, same with the right LED, and if they're flashing, they're charging. Um, and it's the same on these. If they're actually flashing, then they need uh, charging, and um, once they're on solidly, they're, uh, they're fully charged. Um, I'll be testing this out on my next video. Um, I'm planning to do a comparison between the Fujifilm X-H2 at 40 megapixels and the Fujifilm GFX 50S that I bought secondhand not so long ago at 50 megapixels. So we're looking at the difference between a APS-C camera and a uh, medium format camera and we'll look at how they um, deal with low light, the noise levels. Obviously the APS-C camera will not be as good as the, as the medium format camera but it'll be interesting to see how big that golf is and in particular where I would really like to look at it is in um, Lightroom how far you can push each of those files. I know that I can push the Fuji uh, GFX files a lot more but just how much further will be very interesting in a controlled environment. So look out for that. I'll be coming up this month sometime and I will shoot it using this microphone system and uh, we'll give that a good old test as well. So that's been the first video on this Hohem Mic Zero One. If you've enjoyed the video, please uh, give me a subscription and a like. And um, if you could comment whether you've uh, got a wireless system, whether you're interested in a smartphone style wireless microphone system for your vlogging, uh, let me know in the comments. And I'm quite happy to answer any questions you might have about this product. That's it for today. I'll see you all later.